In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this design by using Kittle and their new and exciting AI feature. One of the great benefits to using Kittle as your design software is that you get access to their massive library of templates. So this is the homepage of Kittle if you're logged in. And if we scroll down, we can see currently trending designs that other designers have published in the Kittle library. And the cool thing is here is, let's say you want to create a fishing design. So just go to the search mask and type in fishing hit enter and it's going to load content related or templates related to the fishing niche and you could literally click on any one of these and use it as your template there's a national park one right here as well so you could use that same template and just swap it out for different national park names which are not trademarked like some of them are trademarked i'm pretty sure um, but you could use that template very quickly create a lot of nice looking designs that way same with these ones right here if i click into this all you have to do is hit use this design and then you can change the text for example change the, the numbers right here maybe you could do a birthday themed design as well and um, also quick tip uh, if you like this design it's worth clicking on the designer up here in the top right corner because they might have some other nice design templates that you like one person that i found this way is yvonne and she's got a ton of really nice text-based design templates which can not only help you level up your t-shirt designs but also save time in the process and this right here is the design that i first noticed her with it's got a really nice sort of retro feel but at the same time it doesn't use the common traditional graphics that you'd see in a ton of t-shirt designs so if we click use this design I'm going to show you now how to use this template to modify it uh, for our own needs and apply it to a different niche essentially. So um, I want to delete the wave right here because we're going to make a avocado themed design. And I do really like this text, don't get me wrong. Um, it does look amazing, but um, I think I'm going to click on these and then hit delete on my keyboard because this graphic is quite good for arching text along the top and bottom in sort of a circular form, which Kittle also makes extremely easy. So in this case, what you can do, as you can see right here, is you can move the different elements in the template around. You can delete them as you just saw me do, and that way customize this further. You could click into these elements and adjust the color schemes up here, one color at a time, or you could also come down to the bottom right corner, click on this little symbol right here, and change the entire color scheme of your design very quickly with these presets. Now, in this case, what we want to do is add an avocado graphic in the middle to make this design more suitable for our niche. Um, obviously you could use this same design as a template and enter various other niches that way. But in this case, what I wanted to show you is a new feature on Kittle, uh, which is called Kittle AI. And if you click into this, it's going to open up a section where you enter a prompt right here. So it shows you an example, a cute corgi head, and then you get a variety of image styles to apply to your prompt. You don't have to use these styles. You can just put the style into your prompt and decide it yourself. But if we click on image styles right here and hit show all, for example, you can see that there's a ton of really cool ideas uh, like psychedelic, they've got anime, they've got synth wave, and down here, clip art styles. These are probably going to be more useful for t-shirt designs, um, such as the kawaii icon style, which I really like, detailed drawing, silhouette. And let's say you want to use one of these in conjunction with your prompt. All you have to do is just click on it right here and then type in something like avocado wearing sunglasses and hit generate image at the bottom. And then if we wait a few seconds, the image will get generated right here. And as you can see, it looks really cool and cute. And um, a quick tip here as well, you can actually use Kittle to instantly remove the background of your images because on the right hand side right here, you can see this new function called AI background remover. So just click onto this, it's going to load for a little while. And there we go, it instantly taken off the white background and turned this into a really nice nice usable t-shirt design graphic. You also get some extra settings to turn up and down the brightness. Um, you can adjust the contrast as well, and you can use this saturation slider as well to adjust the colors or the intensity of your colors, which is really handy to do this very quickly because the AI artwork is not always going to turn out how you want it to. And sometimes you will also have to generate another image if the result is not perfect. But as you can see right there, that looks really nice. And um, we've quickly created a cool custom avocado graphic um, that actually suits this sunset quite well as well. The only thing that doesn't suit now is the color scheme. So um, this feels a bit detached, all of these pink and orange colors with the green avocado. 
well. And a way to quickly fix this is we could color match or change some of these colors in the sunset and uh, make them the same as in the avocado. So I think these light greens might work quite well. So let's take, for example, uh, this color up here from the sunset graphic, click on this, then use the color picker and just color pick this green from the avocado. As you can see, that's changed all of these fields. And now let's also change one of these oranges to maybe the darker green or yellow. That almost looks the same. Maybe let's see what one of the other greens looks like. Uh, there we go, that's maybe a bit too dark. So I would change this, maybe adjust it to something like that. Just as an example, um, you could also match the, the brown right here from the body, but um, you just have to play around to try and make your graphics suit the design a bit better. And there we go, I think that looks really nice. And uh, now the next step I would take is try to add some text onto this on the top and bottom. So to do that, just hit T on your keyboard and it's going to bring up a new text box. And the first thing I'm going to do is head over to the right hand side to the transformation tab and click on circle. As you can see, that creates a circular path with our text and we can now upscale this right here very easily and make it match the size of our actual circular graphic better. And now to change this headline text, just double click into this and let's put avocado. Let's highlight this entire word. And if you come over to the font size category right here, you can hold down shift and then click on the upwards arrow to quickly increase the font size. And I'm going to change the typeface right here from Roboto, the default to a more suitable font. Let's try Sundays. I think that's not just suitable for these graphics, but also the avocado niche in general. One thing I don't quite like is how the text is now bleeding over the uh, cloud. I think it's quite nice to have a tiny bit of the words hidden behind um, certain design elements. So in order to change that, you can head into the layers panel right here in the bottom right corner and drag the avocado layer further down below the clouds right here. As you can see, that has a really nice effect. If you need to move some of these elements around, maybe you want to have the A showing more clearly and only a bit of the O hidden, just do that. Just move the clouds around and adjust them until you see fit. You want to create a bit of a balanced layout and not have like tons of elements on one side, but not very many on the other. Next up, I think we can make this text at the top a bit more interesting and suitable to our graphic. And the first thing I would recommend right here is think about what t-shirt you want to actually upload your design to because the text color and the text effects and everything will highly be impacted by the t-shirt color behind it. So in this case, we've currently got an orange or light orange background and that's not even an option on Merch by Amazon. So uh, maybe we could change this down here to a lighter color instead. Maybe we'll just go for white because if, if white works then most likely a light gray is also going to work let's just go with white for now click back into the avocado word and let's head over to the text effect settings right here and the decoration function is quite cool to quickly add a bit of an effect to your text so if you click this option i quite like that one and um, you can change the color of your fade effect right here to anything else you want. So let's actually use the color picker and choose one of these from our design. So um, let's, for example, pick this orange. And if you head back to the general text settings, we can also change the base color of the text right here from black to one of these pinks. And as you can see, that works really well in conjunction and it creates sort of a nice gradient fade almost. That also is very coherent with our graphic that we've created. And um, a quick way now to also have some text along the bottom is to select your text layer right here at the top, then hit Control C on your keyboard and Control V to paste that back in the same place. And now if we head over to the right and literally just click direction inverted, it's going to flip that text to the bottom and it's the right way up as well. So we can quickly edit it just by clicking into this and changing this from avocado to queen. And if you then click outside of your text box again, it's going to apply it to this same circular path. One thing I noticed is that these words are quite squished and the letters are quite close together, creating quite a narrow design. Um, so one quick way to fix that is to just adjust your text with the letter spacing option right here. So once again, while holding down shift, if we click up, it's going to increase the space in between our letters. What have we got here? We've got 100, so we could quickly copy 100 into 
the bottom letter spacing option as well. And maybe we could even change the font at the bottom to something a bit wider to fill out some more of the space. So if we head into the typeface options, you just have to click through some of these options and try them out. I personally think that this font right here, Luckiest Guy, works quite well because it's nice and easy to read and also has quite a fun, ungeometric feel, just like the font at the top. Um, that way they work quite well together. But now I would increase the size of this a little bit to fill out more of the space once again right here at the bottom. And by the way, if you're not happy with your fade effect on the word, uh, you can also edit that afterwards. If you click into the text, head back to the text effect settings, you do have the option to change the weight of it right here, as you can see, or the distance to move it up and down your word. Um, that is a nice little easy way to once again adjust um, the way your text looks inside of Kittle. Now I think I'm going to duplicate some of these hearts right here to also place them in other areas of a design just to even out a little bit. And the way to do this is just select the hearts right here and then hit Alt on your keyboard or hold down Alt and then click and drag onto these hearts to duplicate them across. You can also right click onto them and for example, click flip horizontal to well horizontally mirror these. Then we could also place some along the bottom right here. And now we've got it quite evened out. We've got um, two sets of hearts and one cloud right here. And on the other side, we've got two clouds and one set of hearts. One last thing that might be worth looking for for this design is a little crown for the avocado, um, obviously because this says avocado queen. And in order to find that, we can head back to the section over here. And this time we could use the elements function right here, click into this and then search for a crown graphic, hit enter. Now, as you can see, there is a few pre-made ones right here, lots of choice. So let's see if we find one that suits our avocado. Let's try this one because it's quite simple. I think it would work best if we move that underneath our avocado itself so that the hole in the crown is hidden. And I think the color should be something that's a bit more easy to see. So maybe we could use the gray. Does that work? It does a bit. Let's give it a bit of an angle. Let's try one of these light colors just in case that works better. No, it does not. You can't really see that. So as you can see, it's always a bit of trial and error sometimes to find the right color for your elements. But I think this way it does work quite nicely. And yeah, so there we go. Now the last step to this is just making sure that everything is aligned to the center. And to do that, just draw a big box across all of these graphics. Hit Control G on your keyboard and then just use these buttons right here to center and to align it to the middle of your screen. You can also increase the size right here if you have to, if you want to fill it out more. And there we go. Now once again, align to center and to the middle and there is our finished graphic i'm also going to publish this on the kittle library if you want to quickly access it uh, change the text around add some different graphics to it and use it in your own t-shirt so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope it was easy to follow make sure to check out the kittle library as well because it has tons of amazing stuff in there and the kittle ai feature is really fun to play around with so do check that out as well if you're new to it if you like the look of kittle and want to learn more about it then make sure to check out this video next where I show you how to create a St. Patrick's Day design from scratch.